Hey, it's Oscar Dahl from Buddy TV. I'm here with Thomas Decker and Summer Glau from Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Uh, how are you two doing? We are great. Great. We are great. transfixed by the carpet. It's pretty Not magnificent, terrible. isn't it? <laughs> it's a circus. Yeah. <laughs> going into uh, season two, can you tell us a little bit about where, uh, where your characters are and you know, what we're going to be seeing from at least the beginning of the season? Summer. Well, my character was going to buy you a birthday cake. <laughs> Kaboom. Don't buy birthday cakes, that's the point. <laughs> but yeah, after, after the explosion, that's how we start. That's how we open our season two, and then from, from it's just a nonstop ride. It's, it's a literal explosion and a metaphorical explosion, because yeah. everything just goes for good. For the rest of the season, it just goes completely insane. Yeah. So I, I got to see that the preview at Comic-Con from, from season two, mm -hmm. and you know, it seems you both your characters are, are kind of changing a bit. You especially are getting more uh, badass, I guess. Yeah, well, you he's, he's, you know, he's, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> 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 I try to avoid that phrase, but he's, uh, no, I, I, I had said with, with Josh Friedman, our writer since day one, that, that we want, you know, or that I wanted, he wanted John to be one thing in the beginning and to watch this transformation. I felt, we felt that if you gave everyone the, the future savior of the world right away, that then there's no, there no excitement and he was supposed yeah. to be very young. And so we kind of, I played him very weak and, you know, young and scared and hiding behind reluctant. his hair and, yeah, and reluctant. And, and now he's, he goes through a series of events that you'll see in the beginning of the season that mm -hmm. really just, he's very angry and very focused and he's done with feelings and he's wanting more than ever to do this and it's pulling him away from Cameron and away from Sarah and uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's an angry little guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> has, has that been, been fun for you to play this season and are you yeah. needing to do more action? And, you know, yeah, like, I am. Um, you know, a lot more action actually than I was <laughs> last year at least. Um, but uh, it's, it's been really nice for me as an actor. I, uh, personally, it's been a bit depressing because I don't get to work as much with Summer and Lena, which I miss. It's a great support system. But as an actor, I'm getting to really do so many of the things I wanted to do last year, but kind of have to keep going, yeah. wait, don't look tough, look nervous. And like, you know, now I get to like really be who I think this guy is eventually. Cool. So Summer, your character kind of blew up. <laughs> the end of last season. When, when she comes back, which we all know she is, is thank God. Is she going to be different? Is, is, there, is the character going to keep evolving? She's, what's, what's she's going to be different. It's going to be different in good ways and bad ways. Bad you ways. know, she's the explosion uh, has affected her. She's she's having some some short circuiting and some glitches. She's she's seeing some flashes from her past and mm -hmm. things are. She's confused, and she's also confused because John is really turning away from her. Mm -hmm. And her whole purpose in life is, is to protect him. So when he's gone, she's kind of lost. Yeah. And she's, she's having a really hard time with him having a, another girl in his life. You know, he meets this girl at school. And, <laughs> yeah. and I like to think that Cameron is somewhat jealous. I know she can't really be jealous, but yeah. as close to jealous and threatened. You know, yeah. just her position is threatened. So that's been really fun for me. Yeah. I love, I love playing her human, her human side. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, we, we've pretty much at this point seen every sort of relationship on TV, but you know, the kind of the protector cyborg and you know, a human is, is something you don't get to see. How do you guys kind of prepare for for your, your interactions, and is it difficult? Kind of, you don't really have much to to go off of, right? In terms of. Uh, as far as John and Cameron's interaction, I mean, we really like it's each so other natural, in person, and we yeah. get on really well. And uh, I mean, it's definitely gotten easier since the pilot, since we first started doing it. But I, I, I love our stuff because I think that you know, especially last year, John was very rude to you often, but I think it was to mask that he was still in love with you. And you know, who knows what? I don't, I don't know what Cameron feels, but there's, you know, there were some really nice moments, like, near the end of the season when I, when I put your chip back in your head. There's, like, little reminders that there's this... Yeah, we have this bond that we're, we're, we're as tight as family. We're blown together. It's kind of... But you're trying to pull away, and you have to, and I think that's one of the best things of season two is... Yeah. Sarah has to protect John. She has to keep him safe, and yet she has to let him grow because he has to be the man. He has to, to be the savior, and he has to to grow up and make the decisions, and it's this, this constant struggle. 
Yeah, out of everything you've filmed so far for, for season two, what are you guys most excited for fans to get to see? That you can give away. I am most excited for the fans, personally for me, to see <laughs> pretty much the whole first episode. Yeah. I'm just, I, I know that's it's the first episode and it doesn't mean that that's our best one. Like, I think our episodes, you know, are even better after that in the season. Yeah. I think my favorite so far has actually been episode four, which is basically summer's episode. episode. Uh, but episode one is just, I read it in a coffee shop when I first got it and I was actually making audible noises of shock throughout the script and the whole place was looking at yeah. me. It was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, so. I was just talking to Richard T. He says something happens that it just... What, so one thing? Well, Not so everything. Everything. So <laughs> things happen. Things yeah. keep yeah. happening. Yeah. It's amazing. I slept with that script for a week. I just kept rereading it <laughs> at, that night. You know, I love it. And I think all of our scripts... Episode four is, I'm really... Yeah, episode four is great. I worked so hard on that episode, so I hope people like it. We're allowed to we're allowed to give away a little bit that things like things that are cool about the season is like episode four, you get to see the origins of Cameron cool. and who she is and where she comes from. And a lot of these episodes, you you know, you kind of find out more about Derek and more about me, and, and that's really a cool thing. Cool. All right, Summer, Thomas. Thank, Thank you, you very much, sir. <laughs>